Cynthia Erivo, the Grammy, Emmy, and Tony award-winning actress, producer, and singer-songwriter, is adding one more title to her already incredible list of achievements, author. Her new children's book, Remember to Dream of Bere, will be out next week. It's a story of a little girl whose mother teaches her to dream bigger than she could imagine. Welcome to the show, Cynthia. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Hello. <laughs> So you sing, you act, you produce, and so it really should come to no surprise to all of us that yes, you also write. What inspired you to write a children's book? Well, when I was first asked to write this book a while ago, I said no, uh, because I am a glutton for punishment, and I wanted to make sure that whatever I, it comes from me comes genuinely from me, and I wanted to write it. If I wasn't able to write it, I was going to do it. But then one day I must have been I think, preparing for a meeting or something, and the idea felt into my head, um, it sort of fully formed, and it was the idea that I could um, teach children to dream bigger than they can imagine, but also fill it with all of the detail and all the nuance and all of the uh, vivid colors that we see our dreams with, because I think that's how our dreams become reality. So, so this book, uh, I, I sat down with my pen and my iPad and, and wrote um, each page and, and it sort of came to fruition and I'm, I'm really proud of it. It's definitely a story to uh, teach everyone, I guess, that we can fill our dreams with all of the details that they need in order to make them real. Yeah. And even though it is in the category of a, a children's book, really there's a message there for, for the adult readers as well. The book begins with Abere's mother saying, remember to dream big, my love. Why did that message resonate with you? Why did you feel that it was so important? Because I think it's something I've been doing my, my entire life and it seemed, I feel like I'm uh, the, the proof that having dreams and following them and seeing them fully um, ends up doing pretty well, you know? Um, mm -hmm. I, I've, I've been, I've had my dreams I, for as long as I can remember and the thing I used to do and I still do is I write them down and I fill them with all the detail and, because I feel like when you're specific about what you're asking the universe for, um, it comes to you because it's, I think it tells the universe that you're ready for it. Um, and so I want to keep uh, teaching that message that everyone's dreams are valid um, and the more we can believe in them, the more we can see them as fully as possible, the more real they become. Um, and that's something I've lived by, really, yeah. And it's worked out pretty well, all those uh, yeah. those dreams that you are, are now living as, as realities. In your author's note, you tell your reader that when someone tells you to think a little smaller, tells you to be quiet, less bold to fit in, that instead they should dream big, gargantuan dreams. I, I can't help but wonder if you're speaking from experience as a black yeah. woman with big ambition. Yes, yeah, absolutely. That, that message at the end is for everyone who reads this book, not just for, for the children, it's for the children to hear and for the, for the adults who are reading it to also take that message for themselves. I, I've been a person that has been told that the dream that they have is too big or too ambitious or I'm, I am thinking too far ahead of myself or, and I should make myself a little bit smaller or I'm too loud or all of these things, too different, too this, too that, too that. And, um, and I've not allowed that to uh, sway me from the thing that I believe that I deserve. And specifically, what is your message to those young kids out there in particular who are told to, to think a little smaller, told to be quiet and, and be less bold? Um, don't listen to that. <laughs> uh, be bold, uh, be brave, uh, believe in yourself, believe in the dreams that you have, uh, and if anyone tells you otherwise, keep moving forward. Blink is on and move forward. Um, your dreams are valid, every single one of them. Doesn't matter how big they are, how small they are, every single dream you have uh, is yours to keep and it is valid uh, in every single way. So just fill it with all of the vivid colors you can find, all of the details, all of the people that you want to be a part of it, all of the times that you want to do it in, all of the sunshine that you, you want to fill it with. Um, and I believe uh, that, you'll, that you'll live the dream uh, and make it real. Those blinders can certainly be very important there. You've had another dream come true recently. Last week, you released your debut solo album, Chapter One, yeah. Verse One. Let's listen to a short clip of your new single, The Good. This feels rather different from your work on Broadway and in the movies. What was your goal in Chapter One, Verse One? 
Uh, just to introduce people to to me and my music, you know, I, I spent a long time singing the music uh, of others, of, of which I'm very proud of. I'm singing other people's lyrics, very proud of being able to interpret the lyrics of others and the music of others um, to make it feel like it's my own. But um, it, it was time for me to be able to make my own music and to share what I have lived, my words, my stories um, with with the world. So um, that's that's why I'm particularly proud of this this album it's a personal uh, and intimate and um uh full album of all the stories that i've i've experienced and the people that i've loved and lost and uh been around yeah and as if you did not have enough on your plate, it, you've started a production company called Edith's Daughter. I don't yeah. know how you have the time, but I am going to ask, <laughs> what's next for you? What else? Are, what are some of those other uh, big dreams that are as of yet unfulfilled? I mean, I, well, I hope that uh, I'm, I'm going to be able to produce uh, a series and TV and, and other such things that allow other people in this space uh, to, to realize their own dreams. I hope I get to to introduce the world to new and wonderful performers and artists as well. Literally after this, I'm going to go and pitch something uh, as well. So, you know, I'm, I'm hands on and I want to be able to not just be in these projects, but create the space for other people to to experience it, too. Yeah. Cynthia Riva, we thank you so much for your time, for your insight, for coming by the show. Her new book, Remember to Dream, a Bere, is out next week. Thank you for having me. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.